Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 4 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to create the second floor. We started adding the beds and the toilets, sink and shower. Now we're going to continue working on this. So we're going to click wall. And then we're going to um, create another wall. So it's going to be interior wall number two. So let's edit this type and duplicate. And then press OK. Edit. And then let's change this thickness to 100 only. And leave the material as gypsum wall board. Press OK. And then OK again. And then here we're going to add in our closet like that and then here we're gonna add in our closet over here and then we have our walk-in closet right here and then we could add this one as well or a closet after that we could add in a detailed line. So here, we're, I'm going to change it to demolished. It's because it's usually represent a broken line for the rod. So I'm going to add two lines like so. And then here as well. And then here. And then we could use this demolish line as well for this walk in closet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to close this off. And so I'm going to extend this wall like this. But I'm going to open this with a wall opening like that. So now we could just move this back and change this. So move this as well. And this is just to represent that we have our walk-in closet right here. After that, now that we have our two lines for representing the rod, um, we could then add a sliding door. So what you have to do is, let's go to insert, load family. This will be under door, so go back and look for doors. And then let's go and look for a sliding door. So go to residential. And let's look at, so not the pocket, but the sliding door, which is this one. And let's just click open. And I'm going to select everything. So holding shift and selecting the first and the last. Press OK. And then now go to architecture and then door. And then now we could add in our sliding door here, there, and over here. We're going to add in a side table. So go back to architecture and component. And then we're going to add in the nightstand. So I'm going to add this nightstand right here and right there and then we can move this all the way to the end so give me a second i selected the grid line and then i'm just gonna take this off okay now that we have space here to walk we could then add the same nightstand 
onto this area. Here as well. And let's add it here. And we just need to move it with an arrow key so that everything is good and place accordingly. And we could also add it here and there and move it to the corner. After that, click component again and let's add in the table lamp. And before you add, make sure to put 650 for the elevation so that it will appear here and it won't be um, added to the zero level of the elevation. So I'm adding it right there. So all the nightstand that we added, I'm just adding it there. Press escape and then escape again. And now we could look um, if ever we miss anything, we could double check here. So I'm just double checking everything. Uh, what we could do is we could add in the TV. So I'm going to add the biggest TV that we have here. Press uh, space bar. And most of the time we add it in front of the bed. We already added there, so I'm going to add it here. And then let's just move it a little bit so that it's not inside the wall. Okay, so everything is looking good. Um, so I want to add the windows next so I'm going to click wall and then go to drop down and look for curtain wall so here I'm going to add our curtain wall window so I'm going to add it like so right here right there and I'm going to do some design on this that's why i'm adding three this one i want it to be three of them so i maybe i could just copy this so i'm gonna copy this one like so and i'm going to move this one Okay, and then of course I'm going to add something here as well. So same. And then for the height, we're going to change it. And then here I'm going to add the same ball, similar to the other one, but around 600. So I'm going to copy that. So don't worry about the sound. It's just normal because it's not being shown yet. So we need to cut geometry. And then this, I want it to be three as well. We have a design for this that I have in mind. Now make sure that everything is on the same level. So like so. I'm going to flip it onto the inside. This one's all from the inside and this one, uh, let me double check. 
So yeah, this one we need to flip a little, uh, flip it. And then here we could add in the curtain wall again. And I want it to be a big one. So now what I'm going to do is, so this one, I'm going to move it a little bit there. And I'm going to add one more big one, actually. Because the design here is different from the design here. So I want to add one more. This is for the door. And then now, go to your modify and click on cut geometry. And then you need to select the wall first and then the curtain wall after. And then you can see that this is being cut and it's appearing. Okay, I just want to double check that I have everything cut. And then now we could go to our sound elevation. And then from our sound elevation, we could see the design. Um, we could change this to fine and then consistent color. So this design, I want to leave it like that. But this one, I want it to be all the way up like so. And then now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to align it from there. So AL. And then align it here at the top. It's because we have a TV at the back. And of course, we still want the natural light to come in. And maybe we could copy the height. It's because we, we still need to create some space there. Oops, I made a mistake. I'm going to use align again. Okay, so I'm just aligning them and I'm going to set this. I'm just I'm going to undo that and then now I'm going to pull this up. I want to set this height for all of them. Okay, so now I, I'm going to go back. And now it looks nice the way it was designed. Um, we're also going to do that here. As you can see, we have our TV right there. And we need to pull this up like so. We're going to make sure that too. So I want to know what side is this. I think this is the west elevation. Yes, that's correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to 3D. I'm going to copy all the heights of this windows so that I could copy it to all of them. Okay, and then here we could pull this back so that we could move this TV 
around so as as you can see we could just move this oh sorry not this one but this one okay and then now uh, let's go back to west elevation and let's fix this this one is too small to have a door so now I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this smaller and then I'm going to copy the height of this one. Okay. And go back to West again. And then now this is 400, 400 and then let's Aligned it again like that and then let's align this height as well and then this will be the door so we can do that as well for this one I just want to set the height on this Okay, and then AL, and then let's set this one at the top as well. And I believe we're done with the windows at the top. Uh, we need to do the windows on the bottom as well. Oh, and then I forgot this. This one, this is with the shower. So it's only for the top. So now I'm going to copy this and this one. So now it's only the top and I just follow this along. Um, I'm probably going to change this wall. Call, yeah, this wall and also this wall let's change this one with a different um, finish or materials I'm just double checking it's looking good now with all of this So let's stop for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.